clearly you guys already know when I come on here with no lipstick on it's gonna be a lip swatch video so let's get started so Rihanna has once again come out with a new product in her Fenty Beauty line and that is her new lip paint. Um, this is the Stunna lip paint. It's only one. She only came out with one color. But just like every other thing she has released, it, it just led me to believe that there is going to be a lot more releases where this came from. Um, again, this is the Stunna lip paint and the name of this is Uncensored. It's red. I'm sure by now you guys have seen it because I saw so many people pick this up during the Sephora VIB sale. But y'all know I work a lot, so I'm a little late to the party, but I'm here. So this is the Long Wear Fluid Lip Color. Um, I'm just going to read on the packaging what it says about it. It says it's a one-stroke intensity 12-hour matte wear unrivaled precision wand um, and then of course it gives the ingredients and everything else on the packaging the packaging just reminds me of all the other Fenty Beauty products just really sleek really chic when you open it up on the inside this is my first time opening mine up I did pick this up during the Sephora VIB sale but I haven't really had time to play with most of the things that I picked up but this is what it looks like it almost reminds me of a nail polish bottle I do like it but it definitely reminds me of nail polish when you open it up this is what the wand looks like it's really small and really petite I've watched quite a few people's videos and hauls where they've shown this and the wand was probably the most interesting thing to me I am curious to see how this would apply on someone with full lips such as myself because it is pretty small in comparison to her um, lip wand for the lip gloss that she came out with. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but if you guys remember the wand on that was really, really big. So it looks like they went complete opposite with this one. As far as the red, normally I'm not a red girl, but I definitely can see why red would be the first color that Rihanna came out with for these new lip paints. Rihanna looks amazing in red and it also just brings me back to one of her first kind of collaboration lip releases if you guys remember she came out with the MAC lipstick that I want to say was called Riri Woo so y'all already know I had to pause the video and go back and pull out my lipstick so again this one was called the Riri Woo lipstick it was a part of the MAC retro matte collection so that is what it looks like I am one of those people, again, that does not like red on me. I feel like it's just a big stop sign on my face. I feel like everybody's looking at me going, hey, it's Kool-Aid. You know what I mean? But I have to say, this was probably one of my favorite, favorite reds. I felt like this was such a universal red. And because she did such a universal red in this one, I'm kind of led to believe that it's going to be the same thing when it comes to her line. This is probably going to be a red that most skin tones, most skin types, really doesn't matter, everyone would be able to rock so let's go ahead and get into the live lip swatch so the very few times that I do wear red I like to line my lips with a darker lip liner um every now and then I will do it kind of matchy matchy and use a red liner but I just feel like this one I kind of want to go a little bit dark around my lips so I'm going in with the NYX plum liner and I'm just going to go ahead and again just lightly line my lips before adding it. Not too much where it's going to take away from the lip color but just so much that I won't be looking like hey Kool-Aid. Again this one definitely has me intrigued because it looks super super tiny. Y'all, this red is intense. Do you hear me? Ooh, child. So, I'm not even gonna lie. I thought that people were kind of gassing up this lip wine just because of the fact that it was a Rihanna Fenty Beauty release because let's be real people do that when it comes to you know bigger celebrities and people that we really truly love they tend to gas things up a little bit so I was like nah that little wand ain't gonna work that little wand is gonna take me a long time to really build the pigmentation up to really get these full lips because y'all know my lips are a little on the plus size which is cool I love it people pay for it but I just didn't think that it would work 
this is one application this is one coat I barely had to go back in and I only kind of went back in just to touch up the edges first of all pigmentation is on a thousand and I'm in love and I really love this color on me and y'all know I'm not a red girl but the wand the dynamics of this wand it actually allows you to get into every portion of your lip every crevice every area every crack I tend to have a problem area like around here with getting color to really you know fill my lips in with not it like caking up around the sides I did not notice that do I have lipstick on my teeth child this make my teeth look white and I know I'm due for a whitening so I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a hand swatch just so you can see how this applies um, on my hand. And then I also kind of want to compare it to the original Riri Woo just to see color wise what it's looking like. Of course, one is a lipstick and one is a lip paint, so it's not going to be the same. So right here is where I swatched the Riri Woo and this is Stunna. Um, it definitely has to dry down. That's another thing. Let's talk about the way it feels. I feel like it has already pretty much dried down to its matte form. So that was actually really quick. It dried down really quickly. Um, it feels really comfortable initially. This is definitely something that I would have to wear for a while to give you guys like full details. So I'll probably bring this back into a haul dip but how was it video, but it feels really, really comfortable. I'm not noticing where it's sinking into the lines of my lips too much. I'm not noticing where it's um, like sinking in pretty much at all at the top. I am noticing here I have kind of like a little split in my lip, like a little line here where it's kind of sunk into that. But overall, the feel of it is really, really nice. Um, I did get some residue there, but it does feel like it's dried down. I'm not so sure that this is going to be a complete, complete transfer proof lipstick, but just overall the way it looks. And again, this is coming from someone who does, y'all know, y'all know I do not like red on me, but I am in love. And let's just take a look again as it started to dry down. So again, this one is the Riri Wu. And here is, I keep saying Stunna. It is not called Stunna. It is called Uncensored. And this red is definitely Uncensored. So overall thoughts, just initially, guys, I have to say I do really, really like it. I think this color is going to be flattering on a lot of different skin tones. I think a lot of skin tones are going to be able to pull this off from the lighter end of the spectrum to the deeper end of the spectrum. I think this is definitely going to be more of a universal red, which is really hard to pull off. Um, again, I think it said what it's a 12 hour matte formula. I really couldn't tell you guys about that, but just initially it did dry down to a matte pretty quickly. And I do really, really love the way that it feels on the lips. So that is an A++ for me. I am going to wear this for a while and probably come back and tell you guys in one of my haul dip by how was it videos, just overall how I like it as a whole, but just initially Riri was good. I'm loving it. So let me know if you guys picked this up um, during the VIB sale or after the VIB sale. Is this something you used your Sephora $25 gift card with? Let me know if you did pick it up, how you like it, or if maybe my video has convinced you that you need this red in your life. I want to know that all down below in the comment section. And until next time, bye YouTube.